Hi, welcome to the presentation for the MetaHuman Virtual Assistant project. This project was done for the Advanced Web Technologies course for Technische Universität Berlin in the cooperation with the Fraunhofer Focus Institute. This project's main focus and goal was to implement, test, and play with the idea for the virtual training scenario using MetaHuman models. As you can see, after starting up the project, the player is standing in the lobby, with the controls visible on the wall in front of us. One can push the V key to toggle the third-person camera and look around. And now let's go to the main classroom and see the virtual assistant ourselves. As our use case, we have selected a university medical classroom with a medical teacher inside. Hi, Mr. Gavin. In the background, you can see a board with the called APIs and their timings. Hello. How can I assist you today? On the right, you can see a replica of a human skeleton. This is one example of the learning props that one could add to this project. The skeleton is divided into multiple bones, where each can be highlighted by the virtual assistant. Let's test that with another question. Mr. Gavin, can you show me the bones of a human legs? Sure. The bones of the human leg include the femur, tibia, and fibula. You can see these bones on the skeleton to my left. Could you also explain to me the function of a human pelvis? Short delays are vital for the immersion for this conversation. Unfortunately, there are a lot of API calls with lip sync taking the most time. The human pelvis is a bony structure that supports the spine and provides attachment points for muscles. It also protects the reproductive organs and assists in weight bearing during activities such as walking and running. You can find the pelvis on the skeleton. As you just seen, the virtual assistant has a basic understanding of the environment around him, including the skeleton. This is just one example of a learning prop, but you can imagine many more options for interactive learning. Generally, we wanted to use MetaHuman models for showing the different benefits of virtual training, including low costs, low risks, and high interactivity. Thank you for watching, and more specifications and details you can see in the description below.